Good afternoon and welcome back, everyone. As you can see, we are in the Toronto Ballroom, which is at the Hilton Toronto on Richmond and University. This week, we had a chance to come into this space and do an activity where we got to set up the room based on some requirements, 20 tables, a chair, a centerpiece, a registration area, and a podium focal point area in the room. So we wanted to recap and go through the space really quickly and just identify some, some key areas. Uh, that we we uh, we learned uh, this week uh, regarding setups. So if you follow me, as you can see, we've got a, a, a really nice setup here uh, right now in terms of symmetry. All the tables are, are nicely lined up, both down and then across. Uh, this provides a really nice look to the room, especially for your attendees upon entry. Um, it just looks orderly. Um, and not only is it um, orderly, but it's functional as well because it provides lots of space for people to get around and your service staff and hotel staff can get through easily uh, in order to, to service the, the event that's happening here. But let's look at this entry point. Um, this is the entry point, one of three entry points for your guests. Uh, this is the, the pre-function areas just behind this wall. Uh, along the back wall there on my far, far right would be the service corridor where your service staff would be utilizing that area. So they'd be coming from there. Uh, but as you can see, we've allowed lots of space, ample space for guests to get in and out. And more importantly, in case of an emergency, people wouldn't be having to go through tables or chairs to get out uh, through this exit. Um, so no pinch points no bottlenecking would occur in this particular area because of a setup of a table or a chair. If you want to follow me uh, down um, to this next entrance here as well, you can see lots of space, um, very safe setup in terms of uh, emergency or having to leave this room in a, in a quick manner. Uh, the third entry point to the ballroom is um, at this third doorway, and we set up our registration table here. Again, this is very logical because on the other side of this wall is the bottom of the escalators that bring your guests down to the, to the convention level of, of the Hilton Toronto. So again, very good spot here for it um, and then lots of space for people to come in and register uh, for, this, for this event uh, in, in, the, in the Toronto Ballroom. So as we move down uh, to the uh, front of the room, near the service area, you can still see that everything is lined up perfectly. So again, amazing look, lots of space. Um, we've got our podium or focal point of the room front and center. So when people walk in, uh, they can see the focal point. While someone is speaking here as well, there shouldn't be any traffic near them because the doors are in the back area there. Um, so again, really logical, lots of space. Um, great viewpoints for everyone in the room. Now, the last piece that we wanted to talk about was, you know, what would this space look like post-COVID? As we know from a few lessons ago, we were, we were looking at, you know, what our capacities would be post-COVID. And we identified that chances are when we come back, we wouldn't be able to occupy this room uh, to its fullest or fullest capacity and nowhere near the 20 tables that are in this room right now. So I'd like to just quickly show you what a 50% uh, capacity of the current capacity, what that would look like in this room, because that's generally what we would probably be looking at when we uh, re-enter our, our industry in our post-COVID um, days, hopefully sooner rather than later. So allow me to first, uh, let me take this away and let me add my COVID setup. So here we are at 50% of our previous setup. So we had, we, had, uh, we had six rows of tables, and now we've got three rows of tables, and we've ha we have half of the amount uh, of tables as well. So allowing for social distancing, allowing for, for safe gathering, um, and essentially this, you know, the 50% capacity is, is probably our, our best bet uh, post uh, COVID, so we probably will um, uh, work our way up to those levels. I would imagine we'd start probably at about twenty percent, and then up to thirty percent, and hopefully reaching fifty percent occupied. And here's an example of of the same room with fifty percent of the occupants. So thanks again for participating in the activity, 
And, and we wanted to thank Hilton Toronto for allowing us to use their ballroom for this lesson. And we'll talk to you very soon. Take care.